Who am I speaking with? My name is Gavin Sloan. Who are you to Columbiana, Gavin? Uh, I am a high school student here. I am a senior. How's the park been of use to you? Oh, it's been used a lot. Uh, ever since I was a kid, my mom would babysit, who is now my best friend. And he lived right next to the walking trail, so we'd walk the walking trail every day, go up to the pool, you know, visit Funland every day, just have some fun. What's your first memory of the park? Oh, definitely the walking trail. We walk that walking trail probably dozens of times a day. What are you most excited to see in the park's future? Um, I'm really excited to see the stadium and how that ends up finishing because I actually worked on that stadium. I helped design it, so really excited to see that. Thank you for your time, Gavin. Thank you. Who am I speaking with? I'm Bryce Evan. Who are you to Columbiana, Bryce? Uh, I was a former football player um, for Columbiana's high school team. Played from sixth grade to my senior year. Um, I was also a former park employee. I worked for the pool as a lifeguard for two years. Um, was Got to see behind the scenes of how the park operates and, and all that good stuff. I worked under the park superintendent uh, as a coach and a boss, so that was pretty interesting. How has the park been of use to you in your life? Uh, when I was a kid, um, I remember going to Funland all the time and just you could see your friends there, or it, it just depended. And then going into sixth grade, we used the the field by the by the new dog park as um, as our practice field. So I have a lot of good memories in the park. What's your first memory of the park? Um, I think, but my grandparents used to live in front of the walking trail, which is the dog park now. So my first memory is walking on that walking trail back there. What are you most excited to see in the park's future? Uh, I can't wait to see the new field um, when it's finished. I, I got to play the, the last game on the Firestone field, so that was, that was a great experience to have with me and the guys that graduated uh, that I played football with. So sent us to the playoffs and got to win the last game on that field, so that was nice. Thank you, Bryce. Who am I here speaking with today? Coleman Bacon. Who are you to Columbiana? I'm a student at the high school. How has the park been of use to you in your life? I've been at the park a lot throughout the course of my life. Just with football, the stadium, it's always been really nice going to the games there, walking around the walking trail, the fun land, since I was little. So there's a bunch of activities to do at the park. What is your first memory of the park? Funland uh, elementary school. We'd always go on little mini field trips there during like towards the end of the school year Those always be really fun or just me going there with my grandparents or something Any events that happened in the park throughout your life you'd care to mention? Just a, I have so many memories of the football field just of watching all All the kids play it was it's always been really fun for me and, and that's why I wanted to play football really It's because of all of those guys that were ahead of me Where would you like to see the park go? What are you most excited about? I'm most excited about the football stadium. Like they're, the, the, st the old stands are now torn out. They're starting to put in the new ones. There's going to be turf feel. It's going to be there's going to be a wraparound track. It's going to be so nice. I'm just excited to see that all completed. Same with the baseball stadium soon. Hopefully, because those stands there need some work. But once they get shown some love, I think it'll be really nice there as well. All right, thank you. No problem. Firestone Park was opened in 1933 when Firestone himself donated 52 acres of land for it to be used as a park. The pool has long been one of the main attractions to the park and has been open since some time in the 1960s. The park itself has long been a center of fun and entertainment for the people of Columbiana. The park holds a firework display every year on the 4th of July and has for years now. They recently built a dog park for people to bring their dogs to play. It's located right off the walking trail. Over the past couple of years, the park has done millions of dollars worth of improvements and renovations. Muir Lake has been completely redone along with new sidewalks, benches, and monuments placed around the park. Currently, they are redoing the historic football stadium located within the park. The stadium was originally built in 1933 and continues to be used by our high school football team to this day. Who am I speaking with? My name is Rick Noel. Um, who are you to Columbiana? I am the mayor of Columbiana. Been about three years now. Um, how has the park been of use to you? Well, as with probably most people that grew up in Columbiana, the park was like the centerpiece of everything that we did. It's where we come to swim, it's where we 
We hung out with our family and friends, came to the 4th of, 4th of July fireworks, and um, I had a chance later on in life to be involved with the park in a number of different ways. Um, when I was 16, I worked at the park one uh, fall and summer to get the park ready for opening up, and um, that was a great experience. We had a great time. And so, um, and then later on, I got a chance to play football at the park, and uh, that was a fantastic experience. I'll never forget it. And now, as I've become older, I've been fortunate enough to be able to, um, you know, be involved in, you know, seeing the park grow, work in the community, seeing new buildings being built, seeing it upgraded. Um, you know, 1937, Harvey Firestone started the park and set up the park, and it really hadn't been um, refurbished since that period of time. So it was really exciting to see the park, you know, go to two, go to new levels. Um, any events, including the park, that you feel you need to mention that you were a part of? Or you saw? know, one of the things I want to say is. Um, that I was thinking about it as we come up here today. Uh, Perry Kaiser was the park's superintendent back when I worked at the park. And I can remember vividly that one day we stood up by the swimming pool and looked down over the football field. And he said, you know, a fall night with the football lights on and both teams on the field and the leaves changing colors there's nothing more beautiful in the state of Ohio. And I will never forget that he said that. And I think one of the things that I think is important is that we keep that tradition in Columbia because we've all experienced it and it's what's really important to us. Um, now, now, where would you like to see the park go? Well, you know, since the renovations have been done, I think the park has made a lot of fantastic uh, changes. It's great that we have the pickleball courts now and uh, refurbished the tennis courts and the basketball areas and I think that's all fantastic and I, I think what's going to be important in the next 25 years is to keep it the way it is. You know, we need to maintain this park, continue its beauty and its attraction to all of us and from people all over the state to come here and see this beautiful park. When I bring other mayors and other people that come to Columbiana, they always say, you have such a gorgeous park. You know, uh, it's fantastic. So we have to keep that, the park's memory here. And it's really important to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. So who am I speaking with? I'm Tim Reese. I'm the superintendent here for Firestone Park and Columbia Cemetery. I was born and raised here in town. I uh, grew up here, moved away for a little bit, but then came back. Uh, I've been here for like the last 15 years since moving back. So, so uh, how has the park been of use to you throughout your life? So growing up here, I lived on Parkview Drive, so I was in the park on a daily basis. Uh, I was over here, you know, playing on the playgrounds, playing basketball, playing at the mini hoops. Uh, this was kind of my babysitter throughout the summer and in the majority of my younger life. Uh, I was able to come over here just freely uh, and just hang out with my friends. And now I work here and I work myself up uh, through the ranks of the Park and Cemetery Department. Uh, now I'm in charge of it. So, um, what was your first memory of the park? Uh, again, probably just coming over here with all my buddies and playing. I was here when Funland was built. I was a young kid then, so I had a, you know, they, they was heavily involved with the schools of planning that, so that was probably the most predominant memory I have of, uh, you know, giving our input as kids as to what we want to see in a playground and uh, being able to help that. And my dad helped build it, and it was a big community effort. So uh, that's probably my first major memory of, of the park. Uh, so what are some events that you've worked on um, during your rain as the superintendent sure so in the last last couple of years we've done over 10 million dollars in renovations uh, through private donations uh, the majority of it was spearheaded by the restoration beautification committee uh, we've done uh, improvements we created madison field we've done a dog park uh, Ida Bell gathering place on the top of the hill up there uh, and then the, the, re 
restoration of Mir Lake. So there's just lots of the different things that we've uh, improved on and just completely renovated and started from brand new. Um, where would you like to see the park go? And um, what are you most excited about in the upcoming future? Sure, so uh, there's three big things going on right now uh, for the park's future. Uh, one, the school's taking part of uh, in spearheading that, and that's the stadium restoration, uh, renovation. Uh, that's gonna be an awesome thing here, and it's basically right in the middle of the park, so it'll be an awesome attraction and awesome for, for you guys to be part of, too, as the school system. Uh, we have the, uh, what, which in the spring, it's gonna be called the senior courts going in. It's more geared towards senior citizens, but everybody's gonna be able to use it. It's gonna be bocce. Uh, cornhole and horseshoes uh, that'll be taking place over there uh, in the football parking lot and then also we're, we're just starting our campaign fundraising campaign for a new playground so uh, we have a committee that we're excited we're going to replace Funland uh, and then make it an all-inclusive playground for kids of all abilities uh, to be able to go there and, and enjoy themselves in the park yeah go ahead.